Hello, this is the practice video or the breakdown for Midnight on the Water. I'm not down tuning to teach the melody, and then tomorrow I'll teach you how to download, down tune, not download, down tune the D string. So we're going to start with D open. Uh, the big thing to focus on today is that you have shifting and really specific slurs. I treat this waltz as if it's rocking. Uh, it's a rocking motion on a boat, so it's kind of this lullaby feel where you're counting one, 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 instead of one, two, three, one, two, three. So to make that make sense, I'll show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> this time. I do a turn around here. One, two, one, open one. Down bow slur. I'm shifting, not slipping, shifting from F sharp to the A. One more turn around. That's the whole A section, so let's do that one more time. I start with a turn around to begin with. One, two, one, open one. work for you. <coughs> I'm sorry, pause, stop, and rewind or fast forward whenever you need. So if you've got it and I'm repeating too many times, fast forward. If you want a certain chunk one more time, just rewind and go at your own pace. The B section. I'm going to have you do a turnaround on first finger on the A or B note and it starts the same one, same way. One, two, one, open one. This time you're moving up to third finger. So if I break it down without the decoration, one A, one three, two three, four three. Now we're gonna go three, two, one, A, one, two. So notice how I've put those all on one bow. Down. time three a two one d or d a f sharp e d this time i grab e and a together put in tune of course time put it together with the A open. F sharp, A, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, or 1, 3, 1, E, 3, 2. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of the B section.
together. Up bow slur, here's your turn around again. The ending is the same as the beginning and you already know it. played up bow slur so here's the ace or the whole B section for context Now, we haven't done the, the double stop sections with tuning the G string to the D, so why am I slurring? Oh, sorry, why am I shifting? Because you could go. You could use fourth finger, but when I have that G string tuned to a D and I shift and slide with the double stop, it's going to sound something like... It's going to give it a richness that you won't have if you use fourth finger, and you definitely won't have it if you chain strings. If you go, because then you won't have the string below it resonating. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, go back to yesterday's recording, listen to how uh, the shifting sounds with the D chord below it. So you have an octave D, 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 A, and E. Listen to the shifting and how it pulls out the chord. And that's what we're aiming for. So tomorrow we're going to go into down tuning and a shifting exercise. So if you have any questions, you're wondering how this goes, if something's not quite working for you, send me a note at modelfiddler at gmail.com. That's M-O-D-E-L-F-I-D-D-L-E-R at gmail.com. We'll see you tomorrow for day three.